Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a new fountain pen from Relic Pens. Uh, I have purchased one other pen previously from Relic Pens, and if you haven't seen that video, uh, the unboxing or the review video, I will post them in the description below. This pen is another Thomas Jefferson pen, and I'm really excited to see this one because this is something I just wouldn't typically purchase. It's a beautiful acrylic, and it just reminded me of Monticello, like seeing it, the picture of it on the internet, and I thought, you know, I like it, I'm gonna go for it. So, like I said, something completely different than what I would typically purchase, but it just caught my eye. And I really enjoyed my other pen from Patrick, so I'm really excited to see what this one will look like. Alrighty, so if this is keeping true to the first unboxing, this should be the box and this should be the pen. I'm gonna go with the box first. It's one of the really neat things that Patrick does with his pens. He puts them in a lasered box. So you have something you can keep it in or set on your desk. And I love them. So pretty. We have Thomas Jefferson's signature. And an explanation of the historical significance of the wood that is in the pen. Two enormous poplar trees flanked Monticello's lawn portico for a full 200 years. Planted by Thomas Jefferson in 1807, the southwest tree succumbed to old age in 2008 and was removed. The northwest sister tree was removed in 2011 when it showed signs of illness and leaned dangerously towards the house. The body of this pen has a section of wood from the tree removed in 2011. So cool! And he includes shavings, wood shavings, from different historical things as well. So rather than wasting it all, it's a piece of history, it sticks in a little bottle, and I think that's so cool. I do hate waste, and I'm thinking that was around there, but very neat. But I love this box. My other Thomas Jefferson pen came with one too. I don't know, it sets on my desk and I think it looks so pretty and I stick the pen in there from time to time. I really like it. Nice touch. Okay, the pen itself. Cannot wait to see what this looks like. And to use the pen itself because, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get into this because I just can't wait. Oh, that is so pretty. Wow. It is definitely a little, I'm not sure it's quite showing up on screen. It's a little bit more mocha looking than I was expecting. I think it's showing up lighter on screen, which, you know, different monitors and stuff that is to be expected. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. It looks like marble. This is the section of wood. So that is the historical poplar, tulip poplar wood. And I chose a black nib because that's just how I roll. It's like, is it gonna match the pen? No. Do I want a black nib? Yes. So this is a much larger pen than the first one that I purchased. It feels good. I mean, it's a little long. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to notice that when writing. I love the cap. I love how he lasers the signature of the historical figure onto the cap. I think that is so cool. And of course, I totally just went right over this, but he does include a leather sleeve. And I use it on my other pen all the time. It just stays in there even if I'm going to be putting it in the box, it fits in that as well. So that works really well, but you can put just the pen in the box and that looks very stunning. Okay, so I am going to ink this up. I love it, I think it's so beautiful. 
like I said, this is like something I would never purchase. I mean, the colors, the tones, but it was the historical significance that tie in with the color that just made me absolutely want to go for it. It's stunning. I love it. All right, I'm going to set the box aside. I'm going to go grab some ink. I am going to be using Noodler's Rome Burning. This label has been splattered, unfortunately, but it, it looks cool. Uh, but you can't quite read the label as well now. This features Caesar, Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, and Benjamin Franklin. I, I used this with my first Thomas Jefferson pen from Relic Pens, and I thought it would be quite appropriate to use with this one as well. Oh, look at that color. That is so pretty. This is one of the smoothest writing pens I've ever written with. The nib is exquisite. Uh, the steel nib is absolutely lovely. This is a Yowo medium nib in the black oxide. Um, the flow in this nib is 
one of the best I've ever used, hands down. The pen is a little large for me. It's a little long. I would prefer to have some of this kind of shaved down. Uh, this is perfect, I would say, for a man's hand or just a larger hand than mine. Uh, I don't know. It's it's lovely. It feels good. I would like it to be a little shorter. Um, the grip section is comfortable. It's not the most comfortable that I have used for my hand, uh, but it's just really quite nice. Um, so if I were to have it like fully, like more of a customized feel for my hand, there are a few things that I would do, but overall, this is a solid pen. I mean, comfortable. The writing experience is just absolutely lovely. I would very much like to have some more of these nibs on some of my other pens. I mean, I can't get over the smoothness. The ink flow is insane. I don't know if it's just this ink I've used this ink in other pens, but this is just divine. Divine would be really close. This is perfectly lovely. So loving that for sure. Uh, I love the aesthetic of the pen. I think that Italian acrylic is gorgeous. I love having that ring of the tulip poplar wood. I think it adds a little, little bit of elegance masculine elegance. Is that such a thing? But, oh my goodness. Yes, I do. I love this pen. Uh, if I had the opportunity to have it a little bit more customized as far as the feel for my hand, yes, I don't think that the size of the pen is going to keep me from writing with it by any means, uh, but I will do a full review on this pen in future. And <laughs> something I can't get over right now is the color ink to the wood in this pen. I don't know if it's showing up, but it's like the exact same color. That's amazing. So that ink just might have to stay in that pen from now on. Very comfortable pen. I am not going to get over the smoothness in that nib anytime soon. That is absolutely fantastic. So I'm, I'm a little just kind of stunned at this point over just how this feels. wallop. Oh, that's just, that's amazing. Mm. I am very happy with this pen. All right, so I will be doing a further writing sample real quick. I will be using a Thomas Jefferson quote in my quote journal, my onion skin quote journal. So I will swap that out real quick and get to that quote. And I think I'm just gonna write right under this previous Thomas Jefferson quote. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper to stick under this page, just in case there's any bleed through. And the quote I will be using today is an excerpt from one of Thomas Jefferson's letters to John Adams, and it references books.
The quote reads, I cannot live without books, but fewer will suffice where amusement and not use is the only future object. Thomas Jefferson. And this was an excerpt from his letter to John Adams, June 10th, 1815. One of my all-time favorite quotes, I actually have, I think it's the entire letter, on a an old-fashioned glass that I have. I've had it for years and I love it. So uh, the pen writes beautifully. I was very impressed with the nib. Uh, it's a large pen, so that's something to know. It is a, it's a full-bodied pen. Uh, it's really kind of long. I would like a little bit more shaving off to the end personally, just having a slightly smaller hand than a man would, but uh, I love it. I will definitely be using it. Um, I'm interested to see if its size hinders me in any way. I don't, I'm not really, I don't think it will, but I'm looking forward to finding out because wow, is that nib comfortable. So thank you so much, Patrick, for another lovely order. And I would love to know if any of you have checked out Relic Pens or if a historical pen would be of interest to you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, but seriously though, that color is uncanny.